Clover fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, are you brying this weekend? Are you entertaining? We've got the perfect side for you, so pay attention. Everyone loves a good and cheesy recipe, and we've got just the one for you to try this weekend. Our cheesy ratatouille stuffed mushrooms make for a great vegetarian side or the side dish to your braai. Say so SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe. SMSs cost 1 rand 50, and free SMSs do not apply. Chef Aya? Yes. I love a good braai, <laughs> but what I love even better are sides because yeah. I mean a side can transform to a snack. Yeah it I mean like this is the simplest way of having a side and also you can use it as a side as you're saying now I mean it's so very creative it's, it's very creative and has a lot of flavors in it. Yeah. So now first things first you have to switch your oven on in 190 degrees so that the, by the time your ratatouille is done cooking your oven is already ready for you to put your stuff in there. Love. So um, first things first you have to remove the stems from your big mushrooms over there so I'll, okay. help, I'll let you do that and then later on you're going to chop them. It's so nice and simple to, to, to remove them. Can you see? Okay, and I'm just going to put that in here. Yeah, the and then later on, I'll chop them. And then first things first, I'm going to start frying my onion, my garlic in the pan. So I've got my white onion here. Okay. Straight in. Yep. It's already simmering. It's already hot. Yeah. So basically, this is like um, a stew. We're going to make a vegetable stew. Okay. And I'm going to add my... Peppers. Peppers in here. And my garlic. Love. Okay. So I let this um, cook for about two minutes. So all the veggies can like get into the semi softness in them. Okay. And does it matter if you do enjoy a little bit of crunch and you don't want it a little soft? It doesn't matter as long as you and I eat it finished at the end of the day. <laughs> at <laughs> That's the all end that of the matters. Day. That's all that matters. Okay. So whilst that is coming together quite nicely already, as soon as you put that onion in, yeah. there's something about that beautiful aroma that just hits you and welcomes you home. So now that we have three ingredients already in here, which is our peppers, our garlic and onions, I'm going to add our aubergine in there. So basically you can also add, um, you can play around with different vegetables that you have at home. Yeah. Um, fennel will work perfectly for this recipe. Brilliant. Um, also zucchini will work perfectly for this recipe. So you just play around with them. Yeah. If you want to try this at home, SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 and you could be trying this along with us. So this week we've been playing with a lot of vegetables and we've definitely been going in so we want you to reuse those veggies let's not waste our food in the kitchen and in our homes use whatever's in the fridge exactly. today we're using some uh, peppers we're using some aubergines but whatever you have I'm sure it'll taste as good so I just added some oregano now some herbs to just give you that nice body into them mm. and then now while this is cooking what you want to do you want to let these turn brown because they suck a lot of um, liquid in them the, the aubergine yes. so I'm gonna let this cook for another five minutes and then I'm gonna add my tomato, tomato paste. paste into mm. it so the tomato paste will kind of have it with that nice strongness um, punch of tomato okay. yes. Seems to be coming that. together quite well yeah and then I'm gonna finish it off with my diced tomatoes on the side here yeah. nice. So this becomes a bit of a curry. Exactly. Not quite like a, well, yeah. Maybe like a chakalaka. Yeah, yeah, like a chakalaka, but also like a curry because all these um, ingredients that are here, you can use them for curries as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Look how beautiful this looks. It looks super good, Aya. As it comes together quite well, the finished product will look something like this. Exactly. Have I missed any steps before it gets here? No, no, no. I no. think so, they, so, so we've got our um, garlic, we've got our onions, our peppers, we've got our aubergine, and then we've got our tomatoes and tomato paste mm. here, and we season it. And then while this cooks, let's already um, assemble the other one. Right. This is the fun part. So basically what you do, here's a spoon. We're going to do this together. Thank you. This is the finished um, stew. Mm -hmm. So you can just, just take a spoon. big dollop. Exactly. Look at that. And you put it inside the middle That's of what you the want. mushroom. That's what you want. And also, if you want to be more creative about it, give it more flavor because you're doing a braai, it's, you can have this on top of your griller for like five minutes and then before you take it to the oven to kind of get those nice beautiful um, lines. charcoal lines. And also they add a beautiful flavor of history. You must remember every time you like cook with like grilled, you, it always takes you back to when you grow up cooking in the heat in like open fires and everything. I do, exactly. I do. So now with the help of our beautiful clover here, I have three cheeses. So I've got um, tassels here, I've got white cheddar and then I've got mature cheddar. So it's more uh, important for you to play around with cheeses. You kind of get a beautiful, nice, rich flavor from all different types of cheeses. Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna start with my um, mature cheddar. Okay, we can make this a factory line. Exactly. As we're adding in our cheeses, remember if you want to try this at home, SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. So I've got a cheddar and then I've got um, our tessels here. I like a lot of cheese, so I hope no one's judging me at home because the more cheese, the better for me. Look at that. Delicious. Okay. And then you just put it in the oven for like 15 to 20 minutes up until the cheese melts and it's nice and gold brown at the, on, on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, you can serve this with a beautiful wild rocket salad or just some spinach, baby spinach on the side and Absolutely. then have it. Absolutely. Very healthy or whichever and simple. carb I guess you like at home, whether it's couscous, rice, it doesn't matter, this goes in. Look at how beautiful that looks. And then we just finish it off with more. You know what, I know that we did say that this is perfect for a bride, but honestly, who needs the meat? This has got everything we need. It looks juicy, scrumptious, and exactly. satisfying. And also, the other thing, you can play a trigger body like on burger nights, you can have this as your burger. And then just stuff it inside your burger buns. And Chef Damn. Aya did trick me, because when I saw this gorgeous <laughs> finished product, I was so sure that this was a burger, but no. It actually looks like, also it looks like a muffin, look at it. It looks like, like a savory, beautiful muffin dance. Stunning. So you can actually play around with a lot of people with this. Stunning. Yeah. And, you, and the best part, you can enjoy it any time of the day. Exactly. So so remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent to you. But if you do need to see this one more time, here's a quick recap. Made with love by Clover.